What's up guys, it's your boy Milan Miguel, back at it again with another video. Today's episode 18 of the AC Milan vlog series, so here we go. Well done young man, that was... Before we get into the news, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy new year, a happy 2020. I hope 2020 brings you nothing but positivity and good vibes and success. But anyways, into the news, uh, so there's been a lot of speculation whether his lot time will come, his lot time will stay. Uh, I've been covering that for weeks. And finally, it seems like after the disaster at the Bergamo, where we lost 5-0 to Atalanta, Zlatan decided to come back to Milan. So Zlatan has returned to AC Milan for a second term on a six-month deal with the option to renew for another year after that. Um, quite an exciting time for Milan. Um, Zlatan never wanted to leave, but he was forced to leave back in 2012. Um, so, kind of exciting. He he will be wearing the number 21 uh, jersey number, which is kind of ironic because that was Pirlo's old number. Uh, I don't know if that was a snub at Pirlo, but you know, we hate Juve, so anyways. Lucas Biglia has received a quad injury, so he'll be out for some time. Um, I don't really think that's something we should really worry about right now. I think we have a lot of, well, we don't have a lot of depth, but we have people who can replace him, so it's not that serious. Uh, him and Leo Duarte will be out for a while. I know Lu, uh, Leo Duarte will be out until May with his Achilles injury um, after receiving his surgery, so those two will be out for some time. We also have uh, John Player Todibo also still in the mix. There's a rumor that a deal has been agreed with a loan with the option to buy, but nothing has been solidified yet. And there's no actual confirmation on that. Uh, haven't heard anything, so I'll keep you guys updated on that too. With Zlatan's return, there is various speculations on will Pioli play 4-4-2? Will Piontek and Ibrahim Rivers play together? Um, Personally, I just think that Pioli is going to stick to a 4-3-3 and he's going to find some way to implement Pionte and Ibrahimovic, or if not, he's just going to swap off the two. Um, I don't think he'll start against Sampdoria. Um, last time he played was in October, so he's not up to full fitness, but who knows what will happen. So we have Serie A fixture number 18, which uh, is Sampdoria versus Milan. Uh, Milan are home playing back in the San Siro. Uh, tickets sold out to this game actually because of the signing of Abraham Rebec. Um, but yeah, with speculations to the lineup, Pioli went with the 4 3 3. Donnarumma, Calabria, Musacchio, Romagnoli, and Theo Hernandez, uh, Bonaventura, Krunic, and Ben Acer, uh, no Cassier. And then we have Hakan Chalanoglu, Piontek, and Suso. Uh, no Ibrahimovic, but Ibrahimovic was included in the subs list. I gotta say, for the first half of the game, a uh, pretty average outing for Milan. Um, nothing too fancy or nothing too you know intriguing where it's like oh we had an opportunity to score there were a few opportunities where it's like okay half chances where you know the keeper got off a little bit i think the keeper only made one save that half um but yeah the first half was pretty average i think giacomo bonaventura wasn't up to par in that first half uh, Chalanoglu definitely played better. Um, Piontek looked better on his ball movement and whatsoever. Uh, who else? Suso was, eh, you know. Krunic, I'd say Krunic played good. Um, I think Krunic deserves more starts. Uh, who else? Ben Asayev solidifies his spot. I think he should keep 
starting uh, per usual. Hernandez, usually the best player on the team, doing well. Uh, Romagnoli, all right. Um, and then Musacchio is, it's all over. Calabria, yeah, I think after Conti's mistakes in the back, uh, Calabria deserves a chance. So at the half, here are the stats. Milan had 71% possession, six shots and two on target. We had nine fouls, one yellow card, a harsh yellow card on Marade Kronic. Um, two offsides and five corner kicks. But at the end of the half, we didn't uh, solidify a chance to score. Now, in the second half of the game, in the 55th minute, uh, Stefano Pioli decides that he is going to take off Christophe Fiontek and Giacomo Bonaventura, which I think were the right moves or the right changes. So he took off Christophe Fiontek and brought on Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And then he took off uh, Giacomo Bonaventura and put in uh, Rafael Leal, um, which I think is good because Leal and Ibrahimovic kind of seemed like they had a tiny bit of chemistry. Um, yeah, but Giacomo Budimatura had a pretty average game. Um, expect better from him, to be honest. But things like this happen. In the second half, definitely better than the first half. Uh, but we had... We had opportunities, but we didn't take them. We had an opportunity where Suso uh, could have did better with his ball handling and his crossing and whatnot. Uh, we had an opportunity where Kronich had a volley, he didn't really make the most of it. I think our best opportunity this game was when Rafael had that one-on-one -on -one where he decided to chip the keeper instead of poke the ball in. That could have been our goal. Um, but at the end of the game, finished nil-nil, 0-0 zero, zero, uh, draw. That's a point for us, a point for Sampdoria. Um, don't get me wrong, uh, I feel like we should have won this game, but we also could have lost this game. Uh, in the second half, our defense was absolutely atrocious. Bad pass from Claudia to Sampdoria. Um, putting Donnarumma on the spot. Donnarumma coming off his line a little too much, a little too frantic. Uh, Romagnoli not really paying attention. It's a lot of defensive errors and we need to solidify our defense because that was not good at all. Chris to Donnarumma with the couple of saves that he made to keep us in the game. Uh, shout out to him for that. Um, but for the most part, we could have did better. Um, we could have won this game, we could have lost this game. So a draw is somewhat of a fair result, even though we dominated the game. Now the stats of the game are, Milan had 68% possession, 19 shots, eight on target. So we had what? We had six shots in the first half. So it's a lot more shots in the second half. Um, 13 fouls, two offsides, seven corner kicks, two saves from Gianluigi Donnarumma. Arguably, Sampdoria's man of their match was their goalkeeper. Um, so, personally, I think that the attacking play or build-up play has gotten better. Um, good game from Ben Acer. Good game for Krunic, somewhat. Um, good game from Hakan. He played a bit better than he usually does. I think maybe if Ibrahimovic came on a little bit earlier, there would have been more of an impact, maybe like after halftime. Uh, but it is what it is, you know, we just gotta go back to the drawing board and regain and rebuild that confidence because next week we're playing against Cagliari and we need to wrap, rack up as, more, as many points as we can. I believe we're seven points off from European football, which would be Europa League, which isn't really bad, but uh, we need to step up our game. We need to take our chances. Um, whatever chances we're given, we need to be lethal. Um, I believe that Paqueta deserves um, a starting position, uh, believe it or not. I 
think that since Giacomo Bonaventura hasn't had the best of games in the last two games, it should be Radek Runic, uh, Ismail Benazir, and Paqueta in that midfield. I think that Samuel Castillo also deserves a chance because Suso was absolutely atrocious this game. His passing, his ball handling, don't get me wrong, he created some crosses, but it, it went from okay to worse. And, and then the game, I was just like, yeah, Suso needs to take a seat on the bench. But next week we're playing against Cagliari, so hopefully we can get some points there. It's not going to be an easy game, Cagliari have been a great side. I believe Cagliari in sixth right now, actually. Um, we're sitting in 12th, but yeah, we just need to do better. And hopefully this January transfer window, we can get some more reinforcements in our attack to help solidify this team. Because at this point, um, we're not in the best of hands sitting in 12th, but it's not impossible to get back to where we need to get. So I'll see you guys next week. Peace.